Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folani. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, most would have been on maybe, I don't know, is the word tender hooks, uh, observing the election in Anambra State, which did happen. And um, so we'll be talking about that this morning. Um, it's not concluded. I don't know if the word is inconclusive so far. Let me just leave those terminologies out of it and leave that to INEC. Uh, because Ihiala, uh, local government, where we heard that there was no election, whatever be the situation, it has been scheduled for, um, I mean, it's not a rerun, a supplementary election. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. G.D. Johnson, because we were talking about that and you were saying, no, 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 it can't be a rerun. It's a supplementary uh, election because it's supplementing what has already uh, gone. Uh, Dr. G.D. Johnson, Chief Lecturer at the uh, Nigerian Institute of Journalism. Thank you very much, as always. It's a pleasure to be with you, Uncle Yori. Okay, our pleasure. And so, um, well, INEC hasn't called it for anybody yet. They wouldn't until the election is uh, concluded. But it does look, going by um, what has been declared, that um, APCA uh, is, is leading. Uh, they, uh, as, well, as of maybe last night 17 but um the papers this morning are uh, saying that uh, abga candidate wins 18 of 20 councils ydp and pdp take one each so that doesn't look like a very close race well first i think we need to congratulate the animbarians mm. uh, if you look at um, last week while we were here we were talking about the security situation exactly and the seat at home and the rest of it and then we saw that um, people actually went out to vote and a lot of fears that we had and some of those fears were nipped in the board so we need to congratulate the Anambra people for a successful conclusion for a successful conclusion of that particular mm -hmm. uh, election because it's 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 the expectation our expectation concerning that election with respect to violence crisis that and then crowd turnout and then was 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 was, was dampened by by the outcome so we need to congratulate the Anambrians for that all of that issues will take shape because if you look um towards actions towards the election mm -hmm. and the situation of things prevailing the election nobody will have thought that we have this type of outcome in the first instance however on, with respect to the question which you raised of course concerning, there are complaints yeah concerning there will always be there always will be in in an even with god there are complaints, means complaints. <laughs> uh, so so those complaints will be there those ones that are genuine will be addressed and those that are not genuine will be discarded so the complaints are meant to be to be in the process but um from the result we have seen thus far it seems to be no contest because um from what you read 18 out of the 20 local governments uh, elections that were declared Abga won 18, PDP won one, and then uh, YPP won um, one what? local government. So, mm. so that outcome shows that is 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 a no contest that uh, Anambra seems to be Abga County when it comes it, to exactly. gubernatorial elections. But people are pointing um, uh, to to the fact that um, Iyala that we're talking about now. It has the highest number, uh, the highest you know number of registered voters. forty-eight thousand exactly. registered voters. Exactly. But the question, you see, that's that's a constitutional issue for me, and that's where I think the INEC need to to look at. If you have seen the result of the outcome of supplementary elections that we have had hmm. in Oshun, in in Kano during the twenty nineteen election, there are, um, in in Shukoto we have issues with supplementary election. There is a constitutional provision. So what's the voters' turnout? For this particular election, you know why we were here on set last week. Ayozubaku, who happens to be the chief correspondent, political correspondent of AIT, uh, of <laughs> why you want to TVC. give him to AIT? <laughs> please, please forgive me. <laughs> of um, of TVC that was that was um, in in Anambra for the election. Actually, gave us the percentages of voters turnout mm. in the last in the last election, which he said was 22, 22 percent. I have done a rough estimate of the total votes cast thus far minus Iala and the total registered voters is 9.3 percent it's 9.3 percent so those actions actually contributed to low voters turnout however if you look at that if you find the percentage of 9.3 percent of Iala local government because i don't think we can get up to uh, 20 percent 
20 uh, percent yeah. voters turn out in that in that election so that section of the electoral act that INEC is using will get to a time in this country that they will create confusion because the bottom line of declaring the winner in the election is what the constitution provides for the constitution provides for in section 179 subsection 2 that you must call the person that has the total is vote cast and has scored 25 percent in two third of the states of the local government of the local, of local government. government in the state mm. should be declared the winner exactly. so it's it's, it's 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 evidently clear that we try to bring some mathematical bottleneck into into the would the this election result based on what we have seen will yala change the outcome well I, it, Will it change of, the outcome? Of course, it's a rhetorical question. It, 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 it has it the same change because if you look at the history, if you look at the history of voters turnout in that in that in that state, and we look at the the voters turnout, the overall voters turnout in the twenty local government that have been declared thus far is nine point three percent. Because so you have a situation so whereby what? the total number of registered voters in number is two point five million plus, and then the total vote cast is two hundred thirty seven thousand two hundred sixty two votes. So if you work by that, by the law of percentages, by the law of average, I love I teach research methodology, you talk about probability. Let's say probability, the probability is that that particular votes will go to a particular candidate who happens not to be the leading candidate. Mm -hmm. If you work out 9.3% of Iala votes, it's 13,760. Would that change the outcome? Anik, of the election and Anik is probably so so this to this fulfill this all issue, righteousness this issue of i not bringing mm -hmm. this into the that portion that was inserted in the electoral act contravenes it contravenes section 179 of the constitution because the constitution is clear as regards how you declare a winner of an election we will get to a certain stage on query and I hope we don't get to that stage whereby we have election in Nigeria. We see the outcome. And because there's no election in one state or in one local government, we now declare that, okay, because the total number of registered voters in that state, you have declared result in 35 states. For example, let's say party A, hypothetical, above an hypothetical, party A that is leading is leading with 18 million votes. And party B that is following is, is, is following with 17, uh, 16.5 million votes. And he said, okay, in that state, they have not had election. They have 4 million votes. And as a result of that, we will not declare the winner of the election. We we'll wait for that particular state. When you have gotten almost 99.9% .9 of the votes, we will, when it gets to presidential election, the crisis this will portend. Well, that the crisis, the is, crisis it will portend. When it gets it. to presidential just imagine if it's presidential election, now we are waiting for the result. And but, there's a leading candidate. But how about looking at the angle of INEC is seeking to cover all the bases uh, to sort you of see, it was not part of our law. Short circuit, it was, in, it was potential. Inserted, it was inserted in the nuisance act. value legislation. Uh, you know litigations. What nuisance value? Now I'm saying that. What if INEC? You know, I I hear what you're saying. That look, it seems like, quite frankly, we can't expect INEC to call it any way but that, but, but than the direction it is looking right Uncle now. Yuri? But they are saying. Don't need to rush. We shall get there one step before the other. How would it be possible for us to be having an election inconclusive? What are the factors that led to that election not being held? That's, that's that, that, that there. And this is so an off-cycle election. These are therefore it's, the questions. It's an off-cycle election. And if we cannot conduct the election in 21 local governments, most of the off-cycle election we have had, we have had cause to add supplementary elections. We have supplementary elections in Ocean State. Supplementary election, supplementary election in Kano. In 2019, supplementary election, we saw what happened with those supplementary elections. We saw what happened. So the, the, the bottom line is that people should not, the, those that came up with representative democracy, people shouldn't know when I'm voting and you are voting, I shouldn't know the outcome of the result until the result is declared. Now, those that are going to vote in Yala, mm. they are, it's only with them because you have declared result. Mm. Every one of us should go to the poll at the same time and vote. Mm. So that section of that electorate should be thrown away because you have, this, you have defeated the purpose of, 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 of people going to poll on the same time, same day that you are now having supplementary election. Well, 148,000. So it's possible for me to claim that to have 140,000 
uh, voters turn out in, in, in election in Nambra State that over the years you have 15 percent, 22 percent in the last election. In 20, in 20, in 2013, it was 17 percent. So, what are, well, what, 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 what are we saying? We shouldn't you know, be, we shouldn't we, be, INEC shouldn't be eating up the polity. Okay, w one moment. I just wanted to say that we're, you know, we, we, we also hope to be hearing from uh, Anambra. Um, we, we, we got a number of lines open into uh, Anambra. First of all, there's Uchi Okoro, you know, and um, we'll open up the phones uh, pending then. It just might be that somebody has something to report. Uh, did I hear that uh, Mazi Okorafo is actually on the line? Good morning, Mazi. Good morning, okay. Sayori. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the new week. Yeah, indeed. Thank God that uh, all the prophecies of uh, bad ones did not work. We thank God for those people that prophesied good for Anambra State. We thank God for the prayers of Nigerian Shore. I thank people the TVC. Honestly, uh, uh, there is no need that when somebody dies, people start going to the grave and start praising the person. It is when somebody is alive, praise that person. Honestly, I thank the TVC who have done a very nice job, please, for bringing that program live on all Nigerians. Now, there is a lesson we have to learn because based on what you have shown on TVC live from Anambra State, before, during, and still going on. Government and elites in Anambra State will find a lasting solution and engage the youth. It is not the election has come and finished. No. The youth, government should engage them. The people there, the elites, don't talk top, top shots. They are not the cheapest thing, this and that. Engage the youth. I'm saying this because the coming by this is have another four years. Now, in as much as you have another four years, you have seen the scenario, people have seen the scenario, how so many gangs up, whether I'm proposed, uh, anything we call them. It was not very healthy for the whole world. It was not very healthy for the world. Docking down people's shops, should, should they not go? Because education, security, and health, these are the three cardinal things we need in any country. Now, look at how those three things, when, when you take statistics based on the record you have in your, in your, in your um, TVC. You see that all those things there within the eastern Nigeria have been bastardized. So we start from Anambra State. Now I'm telling on the government, it didn't come in to do the government. All the pensioners, they should tell the other governors in other eastern Nigeria, pay the pensioners so that all these pensioners will take their money and engage these, their children in meaningful venture, pay their school fees. Because most of these students, their parents are already at home. They depend on that pension. When the pension is not coming, you see the children go anywhere, anywhere you see, they engage them. They take, and all this issue of drugs, 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 there is no action that happens anywhere okay. without seeing those times engaging themselves with all these hard drugs. All right. All right, Ma Mazi. Wherever they are, the people should try. And these people who manufacture all those, who sell those, they should monitor this because. Now, statistics have shown that all these crises, crises we see everywhere, those people are always on hard drugs. Okay, then. So, thank you very now, much, Mazi. We I really appreciate your calling in. I thank the Vigil Relax, I thank the, the uh, for, uh, Kuka, Bishop Kuka and the rest. Indeed, the rest. indeed. And everybody, especially you, this DBC uh, for you, Plaf, right? I'm just begging on Nigerian government, Soludo, at least you are an uh, uh, international guru. Bring it up. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Okora, for an ever regular caller and valuable one at that, uh, calling in from Aruchuku in Imo State. So he's going back to, you know, the, the origins, uh, as he sees it, of um, there being actual takers in, in confusion messages, you know, people taking up, just being invited to come join in, creating mayhem whether you want to call it brainwashing or whatever, indoctrination. Uh, and these people buy it and then become what we had until, as you know, at the last hour, um, uh, the um, prescribed IPOB now said that, look, it's lifting whatever you thought we said. And now, we're, on the contrary, we're actually admonishing you go out there and indeed vote. But um, uh, let's take it from Mr. George. Good morning, Mr. George. Yuri and good morning to Dr. Johnson. Indeed, thank you. Reverend George. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm not Reverend. I'm in support <laughs> of. No. I'm in support you of. Were just uh, made a, you, we just made you into a reverend now. Just you, they greeted you back as I'm Reverend not, George. I'm not, I'm not a reverend. <laughs> point of correction. <laughs> he mixed you up with Reverend Dominic. Um, <laughs> no, Go no, ahead, no. sir. So, um, Uncle Yuri, I agree with the point of argument of Dr. Johnson, but uh, where he needed to be thrust out is when the INEC Act was being made. 
INS is acting, I mean, it's doing what it's doing because of the laws it is operating with. So it will not be easy for them to throw the law away. Otherwise, one candidate will come up tomorrow and, and uh, point at that gap, and then the court, before you know it, the court will notify the election. I think that is what INEC is uh, trying to uh, prevent, to fulfill all righteousness. Yes. It's obvious that uh, Chukuma Soludo is, uh, is, has already won that election. And what I really want to say on Kiyori on this matter is concerning the Southeast governors. When it comes to elections that will benefit them, they're going to pacify Namdekanu to allow elections to take place. After the elections, they will not care about the security of the ordinary man in the street in the southeast. Yeah. Professor Chukuma Soludo is known for drastic decision making. When he comes in, I will advise him not to join the camp of the, the attitude that his governors are exhibiting in terms of security. He should make the change. He should be the change. Let there be peace in the southeast and not political brigandry. People just uh, use the lives of other people to achieve their own political gains. Immediately they achieve it, nothing more. I stand to be corrected. All right. Good morning, Uncle. Thank you very much. Um, uh, you know, well, so, well, you know, I was trying to suggest, you know, when you were making the point, uh, important as it is, that INEC probably is covering all the bases yeah, and because fulfilling that's what the all electoral righteousness. Act says. But yes. I'm saying that that section of that electoral act contravenes the constitution. And when there is a conflict of a law with the constitution, the constitution is supreme. The constitution is explicit as how to declare. I'm just saying this, looking future, creating a scenario construction, that in the future, if you have a situation whereby um, we have presidential election results, and then we have had the elections, and we are not able to declare the result because elections were not held either in two local government or six local government, or in one state or two states of the federation. As a result of that, um, we can't declare the result of a presidential election. We leave it at the state of Comatos. Well, one, my, one of the major takeout for me from this. I beg your pardon. Uh, good, morning. good morning. Charles, Charles has come online. online. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Charles, go ahead, please. Uh, they want to make... Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Yomi. Good morning, sir. Uh, I really want to make my contribution. Okay. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, I am not really happy with uh, what INEC is doing. I really want to... Yeah. Yeah, I am not happy with INEC. I uh, don't feel like my gentleman that is speaking here with you. I'm of opinion that Soludo, that Soludo should be declared the winner immediately because, because they are looking for a situation how to rig this election. So I am not happy for... Yeah, I I don't I, I don't think that to wait anymore. By so doing, yeah, by so doing, you will see that they will create an avenue. So there is a leap forward to reach the election. I am not happy. Yeah. I mean, you know, that that's your impression, but um. It's a, it's a pathetical situation, I would think. And um, look, the security is still on ground, but um, we'd like to hear all, you know, everybody's point of view, and that is uh, yours. Uh, that, look, not calling it immediately could give room for, you know, uh, untoward uh, sort of um, uh, eventuality. Uh, let's, let's, let's keep let's our eye, eye on this on barrel, this so to speak, and... Um, the security is still very much in, the, in place. The organization is there and all of that. Let's just um, uh, watch it. Let's just wait for it. Um, we, we should be able to get hold of um, one of the uh, participants in that election. Um, and uh, as soon as that is possible, they'll let us know. Um, but going through these processes, otherwise we would have been talking about the new governor-designate.
but we can't do that because we, we, we have to winner wait. Has, we, winner has not been declared. It, we, winner, winner hasn't has been, been declared. And we shouldn't be putting ourselves through this. This is this. resources will be state resources mm -hmm. again will be deployed on Tuesday tomorrow for that uh, for that um, supplementary supplementary election. Now the process is corrupted. Corrupted in the sense that those that are going to vote already the, know they know the lie of the ground. The, 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 already. You shouldn't know. That's and, what and, and that's what that's, that's what is you, you shouldn't know. They, they, they you shouldn't know. know. We when now we are going know. to vote on that it's, day it's we should vote simultaneously and then the outcome will come once will, and for all. So so if we could not put in place measures to ensure that the election took place in Iyala. And then Iyala seems to have gotten a reputation for, because that was where they took the mm. former governor to. And the last time that the governor was allegedly okay. kidnapped and uh, was taken uh, to swear and uh, quote in. So, is, seems, uh, seems to have... Yeah. Then governor Dr. Chris Ngigi. We are governor Chris Ngigi and then the candidate of the APC in this election and his brother were allegedly involved in, in those... In, the, in that in that particular conspiracy but why i'm saying this because it will get to a stage this law if we extend it to national election so. a so. high stake election you that's where we know the implication you we extrapolated need, the situation it, it, and see that look this is a clear it's, it's, a, danger. Going, it's, it's a danger because the constitution is clear okay. section 179 on how to declare somebody as governor so the other one that we have in there is an extra 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 uh, provisions act of parliament which anything and lawyers on ground anything that runs contrary to the constitution is ultra bias is of no okay. effect reverend dominic is uh, joining us now good morning Mr. Uh, reverend dominic good morning yori good morning dr johnson can you hear me yori so uh, reverend what, what's your take um What's your assessment of the election? Everything went fine, as expected. Or well, well, this is what we call the piece of graveyard. Yore, I, let me say this first. The politicians can rejoice for this election. But if democracy is a rule of the majority, it seems to me here, Yore, that minority have elected a governor. Let me use that word. Because uh, they said they have 2.5 million now. voters. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, we can, can you hear me? Uh, uh, no, it's not Hello, can, I can't even hear uh, myself. Uh, can, uh, I, can you hear you. me? Good mo yes, go ahead now, please, Reverend. Okay. I'm saying a state that has 2.5 voters, million voters. Yes. And over less than 250,000 people elected a governor. I can't just understand that kind of election you are talking about. If you can hear me. We can hear you loud and clear. Okay. The, the, the politicians can celebrate it. But we, we want to mount this election by every, you know, sense of responsibility. Number two, what Dr. Johnson is saying is true. But, but I believe the INEC is running away from this almighty court. Remember there was an election in my state, a senator from my state, who is in Senate now, not just a culture. He put a gun on the head of the turning officer. And the INEC rejected that res re re result. But when they went to court, the court, almighty court, said that whether you put gun on somebody's head or not, as long as it's not written down, immediately the result is announced the result, whatever it means, by crook or by hook, the result stands. So I support INEC by playing a country the textbook. By my constitution, Soluto has won the election. I know you are winning already, but this election doesn't give me joy. We had less than 250,000 people. In a big state like Anambra, it's electing a governor. It's something to chew, and if we chew it, it will not be sweet in our tongue. Thank you, and God bless you. Indeed. Thank you very much, um, Reverend Dominic. But we had the election, and by all accounts, it's, 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 it's been concluded uh, well. All but, all but concluded. One more day to go on Tuesday, which is a problem. And uh, Dr. Johnson, you know, uh, he, 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 that, that is not amused by that. Ada, in the meantime, has come on the line. Good morning, Ada in Joss. Oh, yes, Ada in Joss. Uh, Ada in Joss. Uh, good morning, Mr. Jerry. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. Thank Let you, me tell you something. Ada. Yes. The, the, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. The election, that election, the turnout was impressive. If you consider the circumstances surrounding it, as far as I'm concerned, we forget about all these uh, Professors are doing that in, in, in the face of uh, uh, a problem like that. They cannot give us a message of hope. 
That is a pastor is supposed to give us, give us a message of hope. Let me tell you something. Anambra has always had the lowest, the least, when it comes to elections in the first instance. They're not the talk of this one that had a lot of multiple problems. So I commend them with all the militarization and everything. Then I, I commend the, I commend the, 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 uh, the security personnel too. At least to some extent, like 97%, they performed very well. They were non-partisan, and I hope it will continue tomorrow. Then uh, my problem is the uh, okay, I commend also the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Buhari, for not wanting to interfere in it. Okay. Then again, INEC has a lot of problems. They have a lot of shortcomings, I must say. Essentially, as regards the logistics and the 60% failure of the BIMVAS equipment, you know, mm -hmm. device. If mm -hmm. they had gotten that right, even if they deployed late and those things were working the way it, it should work, because the places where it works, it worked very fine. We will have this problem of uh, the election being uh, I mean, uh, inconclusive in the first instance. So I agree with your Dr. Johnson, you know. It's, it's, all, it's all right. They should do something. I, I, for instance, uh, when it comes to uh, the transportation, let them stop relying on this, uh, uh, this Nigerian road transport, whatever, whatever. Let them use the federal government and the uh, uh, state uh, vehicles during the election. Since, since, since it's it usually uh, going with the federal this one that is off season, why should they be relying on those people that are always uh, disappointing them? Then the DFAS, they, they should have had a, a, a kind of a, a plan B. Maybe they would have done it alongside with the card B, they shouldn't have discarded it. Okay. Provided they don't, they don't factor in the incidence form, you know? If, 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 if the DFAS doesn't, uh, um, uh, I mean, uh, capture the person, then they would have fallen back on the card. That would have reduced the number of people. I okay. must come I saw very old people, 80 years and above, stay there from morning to evening. Eh? What yeah. is that? Why should, yeah. we, why should the next one be a bronze? Exactly. I I like to to, to live up to his responsibility. God bless you. Let's not give up on this country. All right then. Thank you very much for calling in, um, Ada. I, I think um, I'm being told that um, do we have a connection now? Do we? Okay. I I I, I believe that we do have uh, a connection now. We um, we have the candidate of the Accord Party, you know, in Anambra, Doctor. Godwin Maduka. Dr. Maduka is a Nigerian-American, American-Nigerian uh, doctor, medical doctor. But more importantly for us here, he is candidate of the uh, Accord Party. So good morning to you, uh, Dr. Maduka, and thank you very much for making time for us. Give us, good morning. Yes. Give us your assessment, if you will, of um, the election so far. You know, we still have the supplementary one to go. Well, I mean, um, we had the issues with the capturing uh, before the voting. I mean, uh, in my area, and uh, I think this is statewide, and many people uh, that have been waiting from morning to evening, and the machine, the virus machine could not capture them, and they have to go home. And uh, so, so, so such incidences all over the place makes it not a perfect election and the voting situation that we had wanted. Okay. Um, what, what, as you know, the election will be, shall we say, concluded tomorrow uh, with Ihiala now, you know, getting the vote, so to speak. Um, considering that, um, well, you know, you lost in your local government area, Orumba South, to uh, the candidate of uh, APGA. Does, do, is, does that mean anything to you, that the fact that the election hasn't been concluded yet? Well, you know, uh, when you see the election process in Nigeria, this is my first time getting involved with it. There's so many uh, factors involved. I'm hoping there will be a day in history that our people will vote uh, according to what they know and according to what they believe. So uh, this is the election process that somebody uh, can just show up and from one uh, encouragement or the other whether it's the monetary or, or religious or whatever, and then the people will, will follow. Uh, we're seeing what is happening now. The Africa seem to be leading everywhere. Um, I guess we're still 
keep waiting and be able to analyze this fully after they declare whoever is the candidate. Yeah. But I need to caution whoever is the winner. I need to caution people. Uh, it's not over yet because there's check and balances in here. That you declare the winner does not mean that you're going to uh, be the governor. Uh, most of these inconsistencies we've seen uh, might end up in court. I mean, uh, so many lawsuits already out there uh, waiting for uh, the conclusion of the election. Mm. Okay. And some are saying that this is not a perfect condition. This is not what I had hoped for. I would have wa wanted a place where everybody votes and uh, uh, people don't have to be turned back to go home. Yeah. Because of the machine not working. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, because we're speaking with you, I mean, it could have been anybody, but um, the, the fact that. Um, what, what, what do you think was responsible for you not being able to carry your own local government area? I mean, that's, that's where you're known the most. And um, if um, the candidate of uh, APCA clinched that, is it that you, are you not close enough to your people? Are you more, I described you coming on as a, a Nigerian-American uh, medical doctor. Uh, is, could it be that your other uh, life, so to speak, in the diaspora, is where you are much better known than here. Or what, I mean, just what, what would be your account for not being able to carry your own local government area? Dr. Maduka? I think we might have lost him. But, you know, well, what he did say uh, was that it's not over till it's over, which was a sentiment that sort of surprised me a bit well, again. Well, you know Nigerian politicians, they will go to court. Even not yeah, Nigerian, because he, he even, even said even, it. He, he even said even it that... There are many litigations awaiting ah, ah, the outcome of this particular election. This but I just want to pick up from where I just stopped um, with respect to, and then in line with um, what Reverend Dominic spoke about. Oh, oh uh, the, Dr. Maduka is back. Okay. Uh, well, Dr. Maduka, before we lost the connection, uh, I had asked you what you thought was responsible for, you know, not, not winning your own uh, Orumba South local government area. Um, Ooh, is it that they don't know you enough in your area? That uh, at least if nobody has believed in, uh, in this kind of, uh, if nobody has believed in what I can offer, and uh, number state, my hometown believed in it. Now, outside there, I can be everywhere. Uh, they might get the message the right. But then there's other circumstances that will uh, change uh, what they believe in. I believe that people that are qualified to run, people like me that have an antecedent, both locally and internationally, uh, that I have a lot to bring to the table. We haven't matured to that level where we will vote the right person in and without looking at the uh, monetary value okay. or other type of uh, uh, circumstances that will make them not vote for what they believe in. So okay. I think as a, demo as a, as a society, we are not yet in the democracy being enjoyed all over the world. Other places, the people will come out and show what they can do, and the people will look at the, the candidates and see the future, what the candidate can do, but not in Nigeria. In Nigeria, there are so many factors. Okay, there's so many factors. Money. Make you know uh, win an election, doc, doc, even doc. when people know that you're the right man for the job. Okay. So, if I'm sure you know about that, then. Well, election I, is not a clean process in Nigeria <laughs> yet. Yeah, uh, well, what I do know is that, uh, well, election is a straightforward process. You cast your vote, they count it later, and INEC tells us who got the most votes. Uh, that's being at the very rudimentary, elementary aspect to it all. But you, were, you just, you know, uh, spun off a number of factors. You included monetary. Uh, you, you are no poor man yourself, doctor. Uh, for those who are interested and go online to, you know, investigate your net worth and all of that. 
I mean, we're dealing in multiples of millions of uh, dollars. Uh, is it, did you not come prepared uh, along the lines you were suggesting that there are, that this is Nigeria? Okay, I can see what's going on. The connection seems to be going in and out, in and out. And so I don't even know if he heard my question. Um, but the doctor was, I don't think he was bemoaning. He was probably observing. Uh, so this is his first time of participating in the elec in election in Nigeria. The way we run election in Nigeria is different from the way they run election in the United States of America. Um, even though there are striking similarities, though, when it comes to... No, um, the similarities there probably are, just there in are, borrowing the there system no, there are from striking, There are striking similarities. Uh, people, people receiving... There's no way they don't give inducement. When you give water on the queue, when you go to carry people, when you help people to drop in their mailing votes, those are... That is one thing, Dr. <laughs> Johnson. Then me standing at a gate somewhere with a word of money in my hand and maybe having a compl an accomplice we saw, with something. We saw people as you're going, coming out, you're in, getting in New York, we saw people being paid <laughs> to protest to protest for Nigeria against Nigeria and they were being paid inside a restaurant. But, you see, but that was not when an we talk about corruption, it's not a, it's not a Yoruba word, it's not an Igbo <laughs> word. It's not then when you talk about rigging, rigging is not an African word, it's an English word. So if it does not exist in what does not exist in your culture, does yes. not exist in your language. Mm -hmm. What does not exist in your culture mm -hmm. does not exist in your language. <laughs> but the bottom line is that they have minimized, they have minimized their their own. But going to through the education, thing, yeah, through, through going through to the refinement, which, to, which I think, who, who was the person who first of all complained that this is where we should go and... Yeah, voters education, because we yes. talk about the voters uh, yes. If you look at the turnout of voting in Anambra State, people should not forget that. There are a lot of people uh, that are registered in Anambra that are not living in Anambra. Okay, we're going to have to make room for the doctor. He's back. Okay. We're, we're being guided by, you know, the waves of, you know, outages. And so, doctor, uh, you're, you're back. I was asking, uh, you said this is your first experience with the political, you know, an ex exercise in Nigeria. Uh, uh, is that to say you didn't come prepared for the Nigerian way of doing things, whatever you want to read into that. After all, they have said that, uh, what, is it politics? So they say politics is, uh, you know, uh, it might be global, but you might think have to think global, uh, globally about it, but you are going to act local. Did you think you were fully prepared? Or has this also been a learning experience? And this is even without prejudice to what you said about um, uh, the election coming on tomorrow. But I, I doubt that um, we have connection with Dr. Maduka, unfortunately, uh, because that's uh, appeared to be a frozen uh, picture. Uh, well, so uh, Dr. Maduka, I, I just want to thank you for having made the effort to come on. Unfortunately, there's a problem of, I don't know if the right word is bandwidth, but I can say the connection between us is not as stable uh, as we have had. Uh, are you hearing me, doctor? I just looked at your expression and wondered if you were hearing me. No, it doesn't look like so. So look, even though you can't hear even this, I'm going to have to thank uh, Dr. Uh, Godwin Maduka, uh, the candidate of the Accord Party in this uh, Anambra governorship election. Um, it hasn't gone the way any of the what? Uh, how many parties uh, were in that election? 18 of them or so? Uh, were That's another area that we need yes. to look into. Well, yes, uh, because people that are wasting the resources. O only three, four, three, three foreigners came up in that election. We're looking at Abga. Ballot, Indeed. ballot papers with 18 parties. And, and exactly. Then, um, now, Ab Abga, 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 INEC has called 18 local governments for uh, Abga and um, YD, 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 YPP and PDP. They've just accounted for one each, and then that now leaves 15 other parties to bring to the point that you were saying that, look, but you see, it's, it's all about the fundamental right to participate. And um, I think, you know that there are people that are, there are people who will get up and protest everybody's right, never mind what you think, let the electorate decide if I meet all the criteria. Uh, yeah, you know we've gone through all of this. There are sides to every law. People were always exploited. I can decide to come and foment trouble if I'm contesting against you in your stronghold to ensure that the election in your stronghold is cancelled 
and it's well, yeah, that's a, that's a tactic. And it's a tactic. So, so for that's me, you should just stick with the constitutional provisions. Well, you're right. Of, it's a tactic. Of, just of, as of section the filibuster, the, the, the filibuster, for example, is also a tactic. tactic yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, and uh, I'm uh, standing and I'm, uh, I'm talking in the house until exactly. I stop. Exactly. Uh, Louis, uh, good morning, Louis, in uh, Anambra, I believe. Yeah, this is Louis, by the grace of God, an apostle and Christ ambassador. Okay. Calling from Enugu State. Enugu State. You're uh, very welcome. Go ahead, uh, please. So really, I want to say this. Yes. I know it might sound so hard, but then we want Nigeria to be okay. Um, the um, people who are managing telecommunication in Nigeria, I think it is high time during the electoral election like this, uh, if they mess up with um, uh, you know, uh, uh, words and other things, it shows that they are not helping the nation. It's high time all these heads of this uh, uh, telecommunication may be declared the terrorists if they fail to give up adequate services during the election periods in Nigeria because these things most of the time can be acted. People can divert the means of using this technology to you know add or subtract. Okay, I get what you're saying, Louis. You are actually su suggesting uh, ever so subtly that this could, uh, the, the failure of some of the gadgetry could have been as a result of sabotage. I think it's our next. I, 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 we should be able to have gotten it right now. You see, election is an, it's a logistic and event planning. Now, when Ada raised an issue, why would INEC be using NLTW buses to move? For electoral materials. If you go to each state and each local government, why can't they deploy? But somebody will make money for hiring those buses. Somebody will make money. That's the that's the reality. Somebody, you know how much is voted for move, movement of electro ele, election materials. Where in actual sense, in the states that you're having the election, there are a lot of state vehicles that are lying fallow for that. Why can't I make partner with the states? For example, with the um, chief of staff of the state, the chief of staff or the head of service, so that all state buses will be made available for INEC. In America, the electoral officer for state election is the secretary of state. Yeah, but they, uh, as you know, no, he's, he's the secretary. You know, so why should you, know, you, uh, need, you need of uh, your this, this this You need to see fine. the buses they used to carry know, this electoral material. I the know. buses, and if you look at the amount of money they vote for it, basic logistics, basic in in an use an environment THN, where use all of that those logistic companies. A, you will deliver those materials. They a, say we want to deliver sensitive and insensitive. Every material in election is sensitive. How about, I'm sending you how about the intense or yeah. Uh, how about the intense suspicion that INEC might have been looking to veer away from? Uh, you know, that is partnering with the state government. The, the ruling party, the, 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 the state no, no, government. No, the, the state government, the ruling party is civil servant. I'm asking you. The ruling party is civil servant. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the teachers they use for the election? What about the VC they are using to announce the result? No, no, I'm telling you, what about the VC they are using I to announce the, the result? What about the people that they use I as the electoral officers and the rest because of them? They are, looking are, they, are, they, are, they, are they not drawn from academic institutions are they not drawn from the civil service well so it is believed that the civil service is neutral i'm not saying they should take political appointees there are vehicles for example if you want to do election in lagos state now i net will go and hire buses from nrtw how many blue buses does lagos are how many buses do we have in Alausa and all other agencies of government and for us to assign those buses for those electoral buses without us voting money that we vote in, in basic basic logistics in moving materials said the materials go to the location voting has not started 2 well, p.m. it was in 2021 Ada, it was Ada who started the point Ada and George who started the point that look there's still some work for, for us, to do. For them, for them to and, do. and then Lewis has also suggested that look he's not entirely sure that those were just 
real failures. How, it, how would network fail it, on the day of the election? Now, that's the point. The election it, it, even is today, a that is not a day of election. Look at how, how much trouble we've had trying to talk with uh, Dr. Uh, Maduka. Maduka. And, and then we're having, uh, we're uh, having uh, challenges. Exactly. Network, so network if, if this were one of those crucial kind of well, things, it will be the same kind of a situation we that we're we in. Shouldn't we have a situation where electoral materials will be getting to location? 4 p.m. on the day of the election. Somebody, the electoral officer of that local government should have been fired. Okay. The supervisor of that local government should have been fired. The the in fact that's 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 a threat to national security. Let's 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 pause and take Elder David, who has called in from Alimosho. Good morning, Elder David. Elder David in Alimosho. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Go go ahead, please. Good, good morning, Yorin. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah, the, ele the election in Anabra has come and gone. Yes, I agree. A winner has a match. A has a match. Am I not correct? Uh, well, but, a winner hasn't uh, been announced the yet. The day. election continues tomorrow. Watch out. Uh, tomorrow, Ihiala, Ihiala, election tomorrow, sir. It hasn't been concluded. Let us thank this government. This government has introduced a system that nobody can ring again. Because the system, the system that brings this government is what they are following. Okay. Thank you very uh, much, uh, Elder David. Uh, uh, clearly, Elder David can't hear us, but, you know, not yet Uhuru, Elder David. Um, I understand what you're saying. INEC has at least declared that, what, 18 of the 20 councils have been won by a particular candidate, that of APGA, the ruling party there, um, but they haven't declared a winner, and there still is the conclusion of the election to go uh, by tomorrow at the um, uh, supplementary uh, uh, voting that will be organized for tomorrow. Uh, but El El Elder David, uh, I think he's going the commonsensical sort of way that, look, <laughs> you can't catch up with the, the leading candidate right now. Uh, but still, there are processes among which we have uh, spoken about that INEC wanted to satisfy all righteousness and that you have, you know, identified as a potential worry uh, later on. It could come back to bite us uh, uh, somewhere along the line. Ada also, I think, I, no, no, Ada's point of view was that, look, she understood while at the same time criticizing INEC that they probably could have been a bit more up and doing than they already were. Uh, that those things failed and uh, those gizmos failed and um, there wasn't some sort of a redundancy. Uh, maybe that's something that they're going to have to be looking yeah, at INEC going needs to, forward. INEC needs to up his ante when it comes to logistics. Mm. The election is an event planning. And if you are an event planner to plan your wedding or to plan your birthday party, and then the food are arriving after your guests have left. No, you can't. You yeah. can't pay. You exactly. can't pay. You fired. You fired that. So but but from this election, we have seen that the people have owned the system. The ownership. One of the take home for me is the ownership of the system. Yes. That people could, in spite of the danger and circumstances, people still came out to vote and they were ready to ensure that their vote Indeed. counts and people were not interested in yes. collecting Never in, being the, in being this based on some mm -hmm. of the things which which we have seen. Never and when mind. people complain about mm -hmm. voters turnout, yes. people should Never also understand the is. dynamics of Anambra. Governors came to campaign in Lagos. Have you ever seen any state where they do election that gubernatorial candidate will come to campaign in Ladipo? We go to Alaba Market. So majority of the people in Ladipo and Alaba Market, though they are registered in Anambra, they did not they can they didn't go back home to vote for that particular election. Okay. So we must understand the dynamics quite of a, each state. Quite each a lot state of issues. But that, overall, that, that, that boogie has been eaten. Exactly. That they, they, like they, they, might, they might not be an election. No, and, that, and, and, and like Mazi said, the governor should pay the pensioners so that they can engage yeah, the Indeed. Youth. So that once they engage and it was youth, the crisis, or uh, or the crisis we have in the East will be reduced. Indeed. When we pay the pensioners, they take care of their children, they send them to school, and as a result of that, some of the crisis we are witnessing in the Southeast will not have that Southeast. Indeed. And I think if we do that... That was the point that uh, Mazi was making. I think Mazi Okorafo is an educationist because he was pointing out that fix the kids. 
yeah. fix the educational system, then we'll have less of this kind of a problem as we go along. I want to thank you very much, uh, Dr. Jide Johnson, Chief Lecturer at NIJ. Thank you, as always, for coming on and it's giving us the benefit of your quality um, analysis and insights. And uh, also to thank all those who called in and to thank uh, Dr. Godwin Maduka, a court party governorship candidate in this election. Uh, who also said that um, it's not over till it's over. There still is tomorrow to go. Uh, we'll wait on tomorrow. Not that it will make any difference to, you know, Dr. Maduka or indeed anybody else's, uh, the way we've been looking at it, anybody else's chances. Uh, but let's wait for INEC to call it. So that's our program. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Fularen. Bye-bye for now.